What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe. Click the tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. Some people, the one you are breaking news scene, the whole of Hope Road block off. I'm going to tell you now why them block it off scene. So the first news me see zine is that Hope Road, a section of Hope Road, impossible zine. So them say a section of Hope Road in Kingston stretching from the police officers club to King's House has been declared impossible due to an ongoing crime scene processing. Reports are that two persons were shot and injured in close proximity to Jamaica House. The incident reportedly occurred around 3 a.m. Authorities are advising the public including motorists and pedestrians to utilize alternative routes to avoid the disruption. In a statement on social media, the Jamaica Constabulary Force emphasized the importance of adhering to road signs and instructions from law enforcement personnel in the vicinity. The closure is expected to remain in effect until the crime scene investigation concludes more details soon. So people, let me give another update as to Wagwan and who get shot is a prominent businessman's son and him friend get shot up. Seeing prominent businessman's son among two shot in attempt robbery. Two men were shot and injured on Hope Road in St. Andrew on Wednesday morning in what suspected to be an attempt robbery. Among the two men injured is Aaron Peart. Peart is the son of Mayberry Investment CEO Supreme Venture Executive Mr. Gary Peart. The younger Peart and a friend of his had reportedly stopped to change a tire on their motor vehicle when they were accosted by gunmen who demanded their belongings. The incident resulted in the gunmen opening fire. Peart and his friend were injured. Peart was reportedly rushing to surgery. He and his friend are in stable condition and being observed by doctors. Their injuries are not believed to be life-threatening. An investigation has been launched into the incident. The shooting caused a pileup of traffic in sections of St. Andrew as police carded on half a section of Hope Road where the incident occurred. Jaja. So it look like them are come from party or something, you know what I mean, in the early morning. And people, you see... Certain things, when it touch like certain hours, certain things you can do, like how you usually do it in the daytime or in a peak hour time. You see me I say? You have to know what you do. You see me, especially you're a person who have money or your family have money. You see me? You have to know what you do. So the greatest thing, both of them alive, you know what I mean? Them good, you know. The son do surgery and them are recover and they also say the injuries were not life threatening. You understand? So speedy recovery to them. You know what I mean? And let me know what you think in the comment section. And people may I go put up the father picture up on the thumbnail so you can see at OMB. I may not find the son picture. So maybe later on I change the thumbnail and put the son um if they show him picture, right? So we are going to move on people over to Innocent and where a man get shot and killed. See, the police in St. Anne are trying to find the killer of Neville Sayers who was fatally shot in Everness district in the parish on Tuesday night. Sayers, a laborer, was killed at a shop in the community. About 8 p.m. Sayers reportedly went to conduct business at the shop when an explosion was heard. A report was made to the police and a gunshot wound was discovered to the back of Sayers' head. The scene was processed and the body removed to the mark. Jaja. So people, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And also like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.